Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Vicky's Journey. Well, today I am trying to get a little bit of walk in. As you can see, it is very cloudy out today. And it looks like it's getting ready to rain here in Lakeland. And as you hear in the background, we are having a skate competition here at the park way far and they are not taking any social distancing distancing so I'm at the other end and keeping my distancing so let's get on with this walk I have a few little tidbits that I want to share with you I have been getting over overly I guess you could say obsessive I have a little bit of OCD in me but I have been getting over obsessively with my macros and calorie consumption so I have decided I'm gonna quit quit counting and I'm gonna just go with the flow I have been doing it for four years now and it's time I give up counting my calories and macros. Hi. So it's time. When you get to a point that you obsess over calories in and calories out, and it's okay. healthy and very stressful, because you can't be stressful that you can't lose weight when you got too much stress in, in your life. And you gotta figure out what's causing the stress in your life and cut down the stress in your life. So that's what I'm trying to do, is figure out what's causing the stress in my life so I can lose weight. The last time I did not count any calories in and calories out by Becker and that's when I was getting ready to have gallbladder surgery and I told Frank I lost weight when I was so sick and was not counting calories and in calories out and doing the app on my macro I started losing weight so I am ditching the apps and see what happens and focusing on nutrition I know I'm under eating calories so I am starting Focus on nutrition in my life and work on consuming enough calories I am under eating calories yesterday I only consumed 500 calories and I know that is not healthy so I am reevaluating my diet and I'm going to focus on consuming enough calories. And I think that's what's causing my chronic fatigue is not consuming enough calories in my diet. And it's got to go. That's when you are so obsessive over how many calories you are consuming in your diet. Thinking that's going to make you lose weight if you don't consume that many calories. So, me not knowing how many calories I'm going to consume, I am ditching it and I'm focusing on nutrition. Make healthy shakes. I am starting going back to where I started all about nutrition. I am still going to make my healthy bulletproof coffees in the morning still do my keto diet because the keto diet has helped me lose weight i'm gonna just take a different approach to it still stay low carb but do what works for me just throw out that the apps my walk my ankle started flaring up 
if you guys have been watching my page, well, on my Instagram page, you'll see that I posted about an injury I did about three years ago. Just had some uh, MRI done of my ankle. The doctor had told me, apparently when I did my bad sprain, it was not a bad sprain. I had apparently broke by my joint ankle. And now my ankle is wanting to give out. I go to get up and it hurts like a motherfucker. So there what the doctor says my ankle's got a lot of give. I'm having a lot of pain. I can only walk short distances without my pain, having a lot of pain. I'm supposed to stay off my ankle a lot, which I do. If I stay off my ankle, I don't have no swelling, I don't have no pain, but once I start walking a lot, I have lots of pain. They are talking about doing surgery on my ankle, and you guys know once I have the surgery on my ankle to repair it, I'm going to be out of commission. I won't be able to exercise or anything. So that's what I'm looking at. And I'm, I got a point. I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment Friday, but they didn't get the reports from the MRI place. I got this, but they didn't get the reports because they're behind and only have one x-ray. I mean, one x-ray tech that can re do the reports. So, and my doctor's going out of town for a week, so now I'm not looking until the first week of August. I will keep you guys posted on that. So, look forward to hearing about my surgery. So, this is going to be a long recovery as we see. So, I'm not going to the fishing docks as I usually do. I keep you guys posted what's going on with the other, my other half, my love. Since it looks like it's going to rain here, I got the car keys. I'm going to the car since my ankle's been flared up. And he's got his, his longboard with him. Because I won't be able to run from the docks to the car with my ankle flared up. So I will meet him at the car. Since you know I'm taking a break since my ankle's hurting. Normally, I take a break at the docks because it's a short distance between halfway between my walks because it takes me about 30 minutes to do my walks here at the park, which is perfect because I only exercise like 30 minutes three times a week. Normally, my bike, my stationary bike is, it helps me with my ankle because it's not putting high impact on my ankle, but when I walk, it does. And my bike's monitor decides to go out. So, I have no little problem there. So, I'm in, in between the ifs here. I feel a little bit better. I guess I can move on and get to the vehicle before it starts raining. Talk to you soon. Got my water in, back to the car. Yes, made it. No ankle pain, on the way to walk. But I got some neck pain, which is common for me. Having these big boobs and spinosis in the back don't help. You know I've been getting my injections. I did a post on Facebook talking about what happened during my last injection last week. I hollered, I was in so much pain when the doctor did an injection. Have you ever felt, you're under a anesthesia, have you ever felt an injection that the doctor gave you? I felt the injection. I cried on my way out. It hurt so friggin' bad. Bad. Yes, bad. 
it took me, it flared my five up, and ha which I'm going from a flare up right now. And it's taken me a while, it took me almost a week to recover. to the doctor, I think Thursday, and complained about it. I was in his office five friggin' minutes, less than five minutes, complaining about what happened. And if what he told me, remind him when I go to have my injection on the 28th to double up on the anesthesia. That's it. He Resistance goes, to the anesthesia because I've been having them for so long. That's it. Well, if he don't start improving these injections, you know what I'm doing? I'm changing my pain management doctor because I don't feel satisfactory with him. I should not have pain every time I have an injection. I get injections in my neck, spinosis, in my neck and my lower back. I get numb in my hip and have pain. So I just, this is my first injections in my lo lower back, but I normally get them in my neck because that's where it's the worst. It gets so bad I cannot move my neck. So that's why sometimes you do not see me posting on YouTube because I am down and out in pain. I don't post like a regular YouTuber because the five and spinosis has me yet but they have me in a back brace now. I will have to post post my back brace soon. But I haven't did that yet. Here we go.